Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to register for the Step 1 exam. We will be starting from the ECFMG website. We will go to online services. We'll scroll down to four physicians and then pick the IWA. You'll be taken to this screen. If this is your first time creating the USMLE or ECFMG ID number, you can click here. Scroll all the way to the bottom after you read these instructions and check this box and check this box and click next. If you've never submitted an application, you click no and click next. Fill your last name, date of birth, your birth country and gender. Then scroll down to the medical school part. You're gonna pick the country of your medical school. Let's take Albania as an example. You click select and you'll be prompted with the options of medical school inside Albania. And then you can just click on the name of your medical school and then you click the country of your residence where you're living, your street address, email, and then verify your email and then click I certify and submit. Once this is processed, you will receive an email from ECFMG to the email you entered here that will give you your ECFMG number. You can enter the information here so you can start the next process which is submitting the form 186. So after you log in, you'll start the application for the ECFMG certification. You'll fill your last and first name and then they're gonna ask you if you confirm that this is the same name that shows on your passport and then click next. Then you're gonna enter your date of birth and confirm that as well, gender and confirm that. By the way, always make sure to check the spam folder because sometimes the emails go to your spam or junk folder. Next, the medical education status. You have to fill whether you're a medical student or a graduate. This is a question I get asked about a lot. If you are currently a medical student at the time of filling this application, you pick a student. If you are a graduate, which varies by medical schools. Most medical schools consider the date of giving you the diploma as the date of graduation, but you have to confirm with, you, with your school what is considered the date of graduation for your medical school. So if you were filling this application after you graduated, you pick graduate. If you picked student, they're gonna ask you to confirm that you're efficiently enrolled in medical school and you pick yes. And then they're gonna ask you if your school is enrolled in the World Directory of Medical Schools and we can put a link for that in the description below and you're gonna pick yes and then click next. Then they're gonna ask you to agree to these terms. So you check this box here, 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 and here. And then you click next and then it's gonna ask you to confirm your selection. Then you're gonna go to a summary to confirm your information. Then you're gonna click continue to payment. By the way, if you're a medical student interested in learning about research, which is becoming increasingly essential in optimizing your chances of matching, we have multiple courses that can help you achieve these goals. The comprehensive research course, which will tell you how to do research, the medical statistics for beginners, which will show you how to do statistical analysis, the systematic review course, which will teach you systematic review, how to do meta-analysis, how to write manuscripts, in addition to access to all our other courses, and you can navigate all the courses that we have here. Another special course is the how to find research positions, which will show you the tips and tricks of finding the research position of your dream. Or our courses are 100% refundable if you're not satisfied, and we'll leave the link of all these courses in the description below. Also, we have USMLE tutoring services with top-notch advisors, and as I told you, if you're not happy with the service, we give you your money back. That's how much we trust our tutors, and you can check the reviews of prior students on our Trustpilot account. Then after you complete your payment, you'll be able to download your form 186. However, you're not done. You still need the notarization process. For that, you need the form 186. You need to create an account and you need a valid passport. Once you upload these documents, you'll be able to schedule a video call where they will verify your identity. Then after a few days, you will receive the ECFMG number to your email and you can come back here to the IWA and log in with your ECFMG number and password. And you'll be able to start a new application for step one or step two CK. Still, you're not done because you need to verify your medical school. Some medical schools are verified electronically while other medical schools need to be verified by paper. If your medical school is one of those verified by paper, you need to fill form 183, have it signed from the representative of your school and mail it to the US to ECFMG. Once you finish the verification process, you'll get access to the USMLE scheduling permit where you'll be able to schedule your exam. That brings us to the end of this video. If you found any value in this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. And now that you're registered for step one, it's time to take the next step 
to start preparing for this exam and there are no better resources to prepare for this exam than the videos we have on our YouTube channel and our blogs. So I'll leave you here with a detailed video on how to prepare and ease the step one exam and I'll leave in the description below the links to all the related blogs and the information you need. Wish you best luck on your exam and don't forget, the match guy is always here for you.